Hey there, it's Bobby Legs, and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. And today, you and I will be taking a look at the Damasco DC 56 SI. When I think about German tool watches, a few brands come to the mind. Uh, one in particular is this family owned brand called Damasco. And Damasco makes a lot of, I would say, pilot inspired watches, three handed watches, chronograph watches. They have some divers, some dressy pieces. They are integrating a new in house movement into a lot of their new pieces, which I think is great because they have all the other technology besides the movement going on. But I think it's a, a nice step to move forward, especially in a day where getting ETA or sourcing ETA movements is a very extremely, it's extremely difficult if you're not within the Swatch organization. So I like the initiative that Damasco is showing for sure. Now let's jump right into the specs. We have a case diameter of 40 millimeters, a lug to lug of 48 and a half, a case thickness of 13.8 millimeters, a lug width of 20 millimeters. This watch has a flat, sapphire crystal with AR coating on both sides. It comes in this nice, uh, you know, very supple leather strap with a buckle here adorning the D. Now, I um, I bought this watch pre-owned and it came with this strap uh, sourced by Damasco. And uh, the clasp is really kind of disappointing and it was probably the only thing that I was really disappointed about the watch but it's not a deal breaker of course because we are just talking about a strap and a class but it just feels really really cheap i went on and their site and and bought this strap because i've had a damasco before the dc 30 or the ds 30 i forget and it came with a strap very nice strap with with this buckle and it was totally fine so uh, that's what I went with. So I have both straps here. If I change my mind about the clasp and whatnot, I, uh, I can always put it back on that. Now, this is a stainless steel bead blasted ice hardened case. And what that means is it's on a Vickers scale. It's like, I think 710, maybe more. And it's practical in a sense that it really does a good job of keeping the case looking good and new, right? It's it's that much more impervious to scratches. Now, if you really want to put a scratch on this thing, you will. Uh, this watch is almost two years old and it looks just like the day came out of the factory. I, I'm sure of it. So um, very nicely well done. And, and that's what I like about Damasco and, and Zen and some of these other German tool watches. They really pay attention to the tech that they put on, you know, in the case. Uh, just to make it tough. I mean, these are tool watches, right? Uh, but we also want them to look good, I think. I don't know. That's just my opinion. This is has a water resistance of 100 meters. Screw down case back. Now, what we don't see is a is the movement, which is a Balanju 7750 that's been modified and regulated. Regulated to five positions on the SI model. The SI model and the regular DC 56 model are, are different in, in several ways. First of all and foremost, the movement, like I said, they both have 775, 7750s here, Valjus. However, the mainspring in the SI is switched out with their patented or Damascus patented EPS silicone hairspring, which is non-magnetic and, and impact resistant or that much more impact resistant. They reinforce the mainspring to get a 52 hour power reserve on this. And they put in their own rotor and ceramic bearings to help increase with shock and vibration resistance. Now I got some of that information from the windupwatchshop.com. They did a good job explaining, putting it to English uh, and not in so much in technical terms, what they did, uh, Damasco did to this movement. Now the gaskets are made from Viton. What does that mean? Well, that means that, you know, it offers premier chemical resistance. Now, this is also some information, this technical information. All I know at the end of the day that this watch is tough <laughs> and uh, and it looks good. Now, I know there's some people who have an aversion uh, to silicone, uh, some purists out there, but keep in mind, this watch has a purpose. It's not just to adorn our wrists and look good, which I think it does, but it has a purpose to do its job and do its job well. So, if you have a silicone hairspring, good for you because it makes it that much impervious to uh, shock and magnetic fields and whatnot. So 
Uh, good on Damasco for doing that. Let's take a look at the dial. We have this matte black dial. See one loom on the hands sub registers for the chrono at uh, 12, uh, 9, and 6. You have Damasco at the 3 o'clock written and the German day wheel uh, in German and the date there as well. Let's unwind the, the aggressive, aggressive neural on the wine, which is very, very nice. Now, what I've noticed with Damasco, like I don't know if you could hear that winding, <laughs> but um, with their other three-hander that I had and this one, the wine is, is kind of loud and I'm wondering if it has anything to do with any of the gaskets and whatnot. Uh, but the first position will wine, second position will change the date and, and day. I'm just wanting to make sure I have it in the safe zone here as they call it takes a little while, pardon me, but I want to get it to around, I don't know. Well, you, as you see, the, the day changed there in the, in the day, around four-ish, around here. Let's do it like around here. And then, so let's change the date. There, there you go. Uh, clockwise is date, counterclockwise is the day. And let's screw that back in there. And let's engage the chrono hand. The chrono hand is not loomed, however, but you have a running seconds at the nine o'clock. So you stop it right there and then you push it back over here. Let's, you know, let's get a weight on this watch while we're at it. Let's turn this on. It's easily under 100 grams. <clears throat> Oh, no, it's 104 grams. <laughs> well, the head is is, is under 100, 100 grams for sure. Um, but it's a light watch. And now, I have six and three quarter inch wrists. And I find this watch extremely comfortable to wear uh, almost as a daily as well. I mean, not almost. I, I could wear this as a daily watch. It fits really, really great on wrists. It's very, very legible. I know it's got a lot going on with the branding and the day date, uh, the uh, chrono sub registers. But uh, I find this watch very, very easily uh, uh, legible and wearable. It's a fun, awesome watch. It's a great, great addition to any collection to not only have a German watch, but a German tool watch uh, in your collection because they are built tough. There's something about the no fuss, no nonsense about German tool watches that really um, I'm attracted to. And uh, look, I'm attracted to a lot of watches, of course, but it's nice to have one of these in the collection, a solid watch, reliable watch. Uh, I think, you know, the timing on this one, uh, I was running plus three seconds a day, which is great, which is great. You know, like I said earlier in the description, uh, it, it's regulated to five positions um, and it cre keeps very, very good time. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this watch and let me know what you think about Damasco in general. Please put a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.